hey everybody and welcome back to my channel this is a long overdue video this is a maintenance vlog video um this is a home pedicure and manicure so i'm going to get started today i'm going to be using some epsom salt this is the lavender scent and um, i already had started my um bubble foot massage i'm only going to use a half a tea i think it's a tablespoon or teaspoon of um epsom salt i have to measure it because the last time i brought one of these foot massage uh bath things um i think i put too much epsom salt and i messed it up so i had to buy a new one and i'm going to be using some johnson and johnson um baby oil and um, i'm going to be putting that in the water so that it can help soak off help the dead skin come up off my feet not soak it off but just help the dead skin get loosened loosen up the dead skin and i'm going to be using this cream oil it's like a lotion i'm going to be using that as well for my feet so now i'm just um soaking my feet into the um uh foot bath massage i'm letting them go in there for about 15 minutes and that's some soap like when you see the little bubbles in there, that's just the little lavender soap that I uh, placed in the um, in the water. Um, I try not to put too much like whatever kind of soap you like to use because it bubbles up <laughs> a lot. And then I'm gonna go in and polish my toes with this um, fingernail polish here. It's called it's Midnight, and it's um, the name Glam. Uh, from a, uh, the company Glam. So I brought that actually at the nail polish. I brought that at um, my Dollar General store. And then I'm going to go in with this Kira Sky um, color base. This is a base base coat. I kind of use it like as a, a top coat. It's a gel, a gel polish. So I apply the fingernail polish on first and then I put that over the top. So now I'm just letting my feet just soak for a very long time because, um, and then I'm going to use this uh, gel LED, um, UV LED gel lamp, and it's from Salon Perfect. Uh, I, brought, I paid $10 for that at Walmart. And then the bubble massage foot bath. And that's what I'm using today to soak my feet. So now I'm taking them out and checking to see if I feel any like soft, like dead skin trying to come up. And I didn't feel any dead skin coming up just yet. So I placed my feet back in there. And then sometimes I have to add more baby oil so I could go ahead and get that dead skin kind of coming to, to come up um, and get like loosened uh, from my feet. Because my feet were pretty bad, y'all. I haven't had a pedicure in months. I want to say in about six seven months and the last time i got a pedicure i got a pedicure at a salon actually because i normally do all my pedicures at home and it was a bad experience when i went to the salon the lady she just she did an okay job but she messed up my um my left big toe and um i just was i was just after after that salon a visit i was having problems with my feet and my toe and my whole leg i think my whole leg had got infected and it was bleeding my big toe would had like you know when she the the day that i went to the salon she, when when she was doing my feet my pedicure um it was bleeding a little bit there at the salon she went too deep or she filed it when she filed it a little bit it cut um I, I don't know i think it just cut my big toe a little bit and she i think when she i think she did go too deep when she came to cutting it and getting all the the uh i guess crud out of the you know toe and i and i felt that it, it did hurt and then the next thing i know it was bleeding so it was bleeding there. So I thought it was something that was just going to go away. That was just a little temporary thing. So now I'm just scrubbing the bottom of my feet um, with that thing to kind of help 
get that dead skin to come up to kind of, you know, just to help help it out a little bit. So that that thing really actually worked. I did my heels and I did the bottom of my feet so that dead skin could go ahead and come up. But anyway, yeah, so when I came back from the salon, I thought everything was good. But like I noticed like a couple of weeks later, my my um, legs started swelling up like really bad. I mean, just the whole leg and my feet. And it got to the point where it swelled up so bad that I had to I couldn't even wear my tennis shoes anymore. I had to wear um, like open toed shoes, like slide in shoes or flip flops. And I couldn't even wear my tennis shoes anymore. And I said, wow, I said, for so many years, I've always done my pedicures at home. I've always done at home pedicures. And that's exactly the reason why I do my pedicures at home, because I don't deal with the, uh, the nail takes at the salons because they either don't cut my toes right, don't cut them deep enough or or whatever. It's always something. So that was it. I, and, and I hardly I, I treat myself every once in a blue decade to a pedicure at the salon. But now I know for sure I'm not never going back to the salon and getting a pedicure. I'm I'm strictly doing them at home like I've been doing for years. So, um, like I said, I had a lot of pro uh, complications and stuff with with just my left leg where she had cut it. And then the next thing I know, my my big toe started swelling up where, where she cut it. Um, my big toe started swelling up really bad. And then it started being in a lot of pain. So I think just my whole feet, my leg was infected. I had to take some medication to, to let the swelling go down. I think just a bunch of inflammation. So, you know, I, I ain't going through that again. So I love doing my um, pedicures at home. All right. So this is why if you ever had any bad experiences, I'm showing you today in this video that you can do a pedicure at home, save yourself a lot of money, save yourself a lot of trouble. And so now I'm going in with this um i forgot the name of it but uh it, it gets off the dead skin because i had a lot of dead skin um on my on my feet so i mean this thing works good i think that was gifted to me some about three or four years ago i want to say i forgot uh where they got it from but i'm pretty sure they may have them in stores now but i'm not sure but i love that thing it really does help get the dead skin um off my feet but yeah, just that was just a story time. Just one of my, well, one of several of my bad experiences going to um, a nail salon. And that's what made me really start doing my own nails, pedicures, and manicures. And, you know, you save a lot of time and stuff doing it. And then, too, like I said, I'm hopefully this year, I'm in the process of anyway of going to school to be a nail tech. So all this practicing that I'm doing on myself. And a lot of times I'll do my mom and my dad and my sister and my nieces. I'll do their um, a, a pedicure sometimes for them as a gift. You know, like I don't charge them or anything like that. But I just do it just to practice on other people, you know, practice on other people. So that way, you know, when I get ready to, you know, get my nail tech license and all that stuff, I won't have to start, you know, it'll already be ahead of the game, you know. Why to start from scratch because I really like doing pedicures on other people's feet as well and also as mine and it just you know it's a lot of work doing a pedicure um it's not easy um but I mean I enjoy doing it you can make it easy um with when you're doing your own pedicure it just is a little bit harder because you're having a bend bend certain ways and all kind of stuff so it but it still works out though everything works out so now I think I'm still I'm getting to the side of it now yeah I'm taking that pet egg I had that pet egg for some years taking that pet egg and I'm going on the side of it trying to get as much dead skin off I had a lot of dead skin like I said it I had I'd be so busy sometimes and I don't do um self-care on myself like when it comes to pedicures and stuff i wait months so i shouldn't wait next time i'm not gonna wait no like, seven or eight months so it had been a long time so i'm just gonna start staying up on it so it won't be so bad and that pet egg is excellent too 
You see all the, the dead skin that's coming off of there? It's a lot of it. I had, when I tell you I had a lot, I had a lot. And I could be doing that for days, getting that dead skin off. That, that thing is a lifesaver right there. I love it. Boy, boy, you, I would have to take some sandpaper. I, my feet were so bad, I would have to take some sandpaper to get that dead skin off, boy. <laughs> it was, oh my gosh, look at all that dead skin. <laughs> I, should, I, I should be ashamed of myself, but that's, that's all good, though. But at least it's got done now. So I'll do this for about a little minute. It took it took me a little minute because it was a lot of dead skin on there. But if you you know if you get a pedicure often and you decide to do one at home, it may not take you this long to get all your dead skin off of your bottom of your feet because mine, like I said, it just it just had been months and months. <laughs> but they real they're soft now. See, that's like, a, it's just sawing away the dead skin. Then I think I'm turning it off. Going in with the pit egg. Now the pit egg really, it, it really gets whatever uh, dead skin off that the other thing couldn't get off. I like, I really like that, um, that pit egg. Now that's, I've had that for years. Yeah, the pit egg I had for years and the other thing I had for years. Now I'm going in with the Johnson and Johnson cream oil. It's like a lotion and I, you know, I use it cause it has a little bit like a hint of baby oil in it. Um, but it's just like a cream oil and just putting that at the bottom of the feet to kind of get it moisturized. Now the mistake that I made, I went ahead and put the lotion on my feet before I clipped my toenails. And that was a big no, no. Cause when I tried to clip my toenails, um, the clippers were sliding out of my um, fingers because my fingers were still, um, you know, oily. So it was hard. So next time, I just got to try to remember to clip my toenails first and then let them soak and then go ahead and shave the dead skin off, you know. But I, I just completely forgot. That was my fault. Okay, now I think I'm doing the other, the other foot. This is personal pity. That's what it's called. I think I might have seen some more. I guess. So this is starting on the, the right foot. Okay, I thought I had already started on um, getting the dead skin off of this one. So this is starting on the right foot. So I, that was the left foot I did. So I don't know much more. So I'm getting all the all the dead skin off of this foot as well. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. That was so much. 
And as you can see, that baby oil really does help. And that's all I use um, to help get that dead skin off. I can't just soak my feet in just Epsom salt and water and, and think that that's going to, no, that's not going to cut it for my feet. I have to put a whole lot of baby oil. Matter of fact, I might as well just put some lard and Crisco oil in it because, um, <laughs> I mean, I have done that before too. There was a one time, um, an older lady I used to work with at one of my jobs way back in the day when I was younger, when I was like in my late teens or early twenties, um, you know, she had told me, she said, well, baby, you know, back in the day, they didn't have all this baby oil and stuff and all these, you know, creamy oils. Um, she said, we used to have to use cooking oil. She said, there was times that we used to uh, put, you know, soak our feet in cooking oil, just some warm water and pour some cooking oil in that, in that water and let your feet soak. And she said, that worked just as good. And actually she was not like, she said, sometimes they would take lard. That was, that's that stuff that was like, uh, it was uh, oil, but it was like creamy. That was like old school stuff. My grandparents on my, um, and stuff used to use that back in the day for frying, you know, frying foods, frying fish or frying, frying um, chicken and take lard. And once you heat lard on the stove, it dissolves into the oil. It's like a, it's like a cream, you know, like a kind of a, it starts off like a cream, look creamy look. And then once you let it heat up, it dissolves into oil. But anyway, I did that one day and I, and I tried it, you know, um, cause I, I was, I did a pedicure, like this was years ago and I ran out of baby oil and I forgot that I didn't have any baby oil in the house. And so I remember what she had told me. She said, you know, use cooking oil that helps, you know, soak your feet in some cooking oil, some warm water, put, put, put whatever like soap you like to use and put some cooking oil in there to substitute it for the um, baby oil. And sure enough, I did that. I had some cooking oil in there and I put it in my water, let my feet soak and it worked just as good as baby oil. All right. So, I mean, I have some rough, 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 rough feet, but that's because I waited too long to do a pedicure. Now here I have an ingrown toenail and that's some polish that was left from the last time I had got my feet done. But what had kept happening was since I had put the cream oil on my and my the the clippers kept kind of sliding out of my fingers, so you see, I couldn't really have a good grip hold on the clippers like I wanted to, because you know I that was my mistake. I put the oil on my feet before, which I should have did was cut my toenails first and then use the um then oil my feet. But it uh, you know like I said, it had been a, a minute since I did a pedicure. So now all I'm doing is just clipping my um. Clipping my toenails, just, I want to, that's why a lot of times I like to do my pedicures at home, because if I go to a salon, they do not want to cut my toenails um, very low. They like to leave them kind of lengthy, and that doesn't make any sense to me, because when you leave them lengthy, they grow back so fast, and then you got to go back in and get them cut again. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and cut them as low as possible, but not too low, but you know, just as low as possible to my liking. And then that way it'll be like about a month or two before I have to clip my toenails again. So I just try to, you know, cut them. And then that way I won't have any ingrown like uh, toenails on my big toe. Um, so that's why I, I really make sure I thoroughly um, cut my toenails really good and really low so I won't have to um, keep going back cutting them again so I'm just making sure that big toe is cut really good um, it's kind of hard for me to cut while I'm filming um, normally when I'm filming it doesn't take me this long but just trying to make sure I angled the camera correctly in the right position and all that it it just it just <laughs> took a lot of time but normally if when I'm off camera I stand up and cut my toenails and they won't, you know, I'll cut them in like no time. But And what I did was I placed a, that black towel down on my carpet um so that all any kind of dirt, any kind of toenails, dirt from my feet 
like a dead skin. It goes straight on that towel. And then all I have to do is just shake the towel out, you know, outside or shake it in the trash can. And um, so that's where everything goes instead of it going on my carpet. Um, and then, too, when I use the bubble bath um, foot thing, I I'll always put a towel down and then put that on top of it. So now I'm just cutting my, um, I think that's my right, my right foot. Cutting my big toe there. And see, uh, actually, this one was a little bit, uh, just a little bit easier for me to cut because I think I kept, like, wiping my um, feet off with the towel before I had started recording back. And then I made sure that the um, clippers, I wiped the clippers off because they had a lot of oil on them from me uh, applying that cream oil on there on my feet. So now they look a little bit better. I think I would try to go back and do the pinky. And see here, I had to stand up and cut my, my toenails. That's the only way they'll get done right unless I stand up and cut them. Because by, by me just sitting down trying to cut them, they're not gonna, I'm not gonna cut them right. So standing up is my solution for cutting my toenails. But if you can cut your toenails sitting down, then do that. But the best way for me to cut mine is standing up. All right, so now I'm going in with my um, gel lamp, plugging that up, getting ready to, um, or no, or was I getting ready to use it? I think, yeah, that's the gel lamp I bought from Walmart. I was paid $10 for it. And you use the UBS, UBS cord to plug it in, and that's the only way that you'll be able to use it if is plugging it in through your USB cord. That's what I'm sorry, U USB cord. <laughs> And then I'm taking that, gonna take that Kira Sky gel polish base coat and put on on uh, after I polish my um, toenails. Oh, they look a lot better. I, I, the, my toes look a lot better after trimming them down. Now the big toe looks kind of crooked, but that's okay. Um, I, it's just because I had an ingrown toenail. And I should have cut it a little bit more, but I didn't want to go too deep because I, you know, don't want to. Um, but I think I end up cutting it just a little bit more. Anyway, no, I think I left it like that. So. But I like this polish. The polish, it turned out really good. I love that polish. So it was a nice polish. And uh, this, this isn't easy when I have to do it myself. You know, I know it's nice when somebody else does your own toes and polish them and everything. But this is, this was, every time I polish and do my pedicure, okay, every time I do my pedicure, it's always a challenge. It's always a challenge. It never fails. You know, I'm trying to always find a way to make it easier for me um, to do this and it's never easy, but I, I do it because I, you know, I save myself money and I do it also because I want them done like the way how I want them done. And, um, I don't have to worry about, you know, any drama from the nail tech or from at the nail salon. So, so what, what I'm placing my feet on is the step stool. It was easier for me to polish them on the step stool. Now there has been times I had to stand up and polish my my toes. Like I said, it's, it's this is a challenge. It's not easy for me to do my own 
But it's easy when I do somebody else's toes. It's like a breeze. But when it comes to doing my own, it's oof, very challenging. I guess I went back and was, I seen that big toe, it needed to be clipped some more. So I went back and cut it down, clipped it down some more. I mean, not the big toe, the middle toe. So like I, like I said, I did a couple of coats. I did like maybe two or three coats on each toe um, because I noticed the more that I polished it with, you know, did more coats, the more I saw the color really come out, like brighten out a little bit. So it's, it's really a beautiful color. I like this color a lot. It's the, the color name is um, Midnight and it's from this company called, I want to say Glam or I guess it's the name of it is Glam and the color is uh, Midnight, but it's really pretty. Like an aqua, a aqua blue color, like a, of the ocean, really pretty. So I guess something happened with my big toe over there. I think I'm gonna go back and polish it again. So now I'm doing two things all in one. I'm going to go ahead and start my um, manicure. I'm just clipping my nails. You see how long my nails have gotten. Uh, so I'm going to clip them down a little bit um, they grow back really fast, so just making sure that while I polish them, I just have them shorter. That's fine anyway, because they grow back fast. This one I had to cut a little bit um, very short because... It had a hangnail, even though it was short, it was like a hangnail in there. So I wanted to make sure I got that hangnail out of the way. Just the regular clipping of the nails, nothing special, nothing very special. And I'm just going in with this file. I think I brought it at the Dollar General store, just a regular old file. I couldn't tell you what it was the, the, the number of the grit. So, I mean, it's just a regular nail file. I'm just filing them, just, um, kind of more like a square shape a little bit, just kind of filing them down some. Nothing perfect. <laughs> So I was done with that real quick. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and polish them. 
get the polish out the way. So what I'm doing is I'm polishing my nails while I'm waiting on my toenails to dry. So that gives me plenty of time for my nails to dry. Okay, so now I'm using this nail polish holder that I purchased from um, Dollar Tree. And I said, well, I'm gonna try to see if this really um, will help me out when, I, when it comes to polishing my nails. So this is a nail polish holder and you place it in like that. So first I'm gonna use my non-dominant hand to polish my dominant hand. So I get the I get the hard part out the way because that is the more of a challenge using your non-dominant hand to polish your dominant hand. So I get the hard one out the way. And then that really helped me out a lot. The uh, nail polish holder, I love it. And I it was only a dollar or dollar twenty-five at, at Dollar Tree. I purchased that at Dollar Tree. As you know now, Dollar Tree done went up a dollar twenty-five, so nothing's a dollar anymore. It's a dollar twenty-five. And it really helped out when it comes to um, polishing. I, I really, I'm really glad I purchased this. I'm really glad. And here I'm also going to do like two or three coats um, instead of one. The first coat is it always comes out looking a little light, but um, every time when I do like the second or third coat, it it looks it starts to look um, darker. Okay, now I'm going to do the left hand. I'm taking my dominant hand and polishing my non-dominant hand. So now it's a breeze. I can zoom through this through the left hand because it's a lot easier for me to polish. Because I'm right-handed, so. Sorry, this is a very detailed high maintenance mani pedicure <laughs> at home self care video <laughs> I think I did like three coats, three or four. Look like I did. <laughs> yeah, about three or four coats. And it held, it held the nail polish pretty good. Ooh, I love that color. That's a pretty color. I like the color. Okay, so now I think I'm taking the base coat. And I'm going to place it on my nails. Now, I think what I should have did was when I took the base coat out of the bottle, I should have scraped some off because I think I put like a heavy coat on there and it took my nails a lot longer to dry. So I think next time when I do that, I'm going to just put like a little light coat of that on there so that when I get ready to put it in the um, UV LED um, gel lamp, 
it will it will not take I, I i lost count i think i put my nails at, off camera back into the um lamp uh, back into that lamp like about 10 more times um because i wanted to make sure it was dry and then i put my toes in there um i did it a couple of times for the video but then like i said off camera i think each each toe i did it like six or ten more times because i wanted to make sure that they were dry so don't make that mistake like how i did just use a light coat of that base coat um, don't, don't get too heavy with it um but I, as i do nails i learn from my mistakes and i learn from myself so you know just moving forward next time i know what to do because you know every day is a practice i'm still learning you know I'm glad I'm, you know, learning on myself and, you know, a few family members so it won't be so bad when I get out there really and start doing the nails. Um, my goal is to have a home-based business doing the nails. I'm not going to do nails in a nail salon. I'm just going to do nails um, in the comfort of my own home. So I have my clients come to my house and get their nails done like that so I can, so I can have all the money. You know, I've been doing my research on what's better to do nails at a nail salon or better to have do it, you know, on your own. And I found out um, through research that it's best for me to do it myself so that way I can, whatever profit I make is all mine. I don't have to pay for a booth at a nail salon and, and pay the owner and all that stuff. Um, so just, I'm just have a home-based business have all my clients come to me or I'll go to my clients. I'll just travel to my client's home and do nails in the comfort of, do their own nails in the comfort of their own home. So either way it goes, um, I already been manifesting this. Um, so, you know, um, it's going to come, it's going to come to pass like once after I get my nail tech license. So after I get my nail tech license, um, develop some clients, um, I think everything will be, a lot better i'll be probably a lot busier um you know we're doing a lot of people nails so i'll go i'll travel i'll travel to the client um home and i will also do the nails in my own home so i think that'll be something great and then the availability i'll have will be even better for them for my clients so that way you know a nail salon opens up at 10 o'clock and then they close at seven with me, I'll have a more of an open door opportunity. You can, if I'm off for my night job, you may can come get your nails done at 10 o'clock at night. I don't know. Depending on if it's an emergency, you got to get them done for a wedding or whatever the case may be. I'll be more of, uh, have open more, have open availability <laughs> to doing your nails. So that's what I plan on doing. It's just, just a thought, but I know that, um, Thoughts and dreams, they do come true. So so now I'm placing um, my thumb in the uh, L uh, LED lamp. I had to do it like that because my thumb, would, <laughs> all my fingers would not go. I mean, it would, but I just, I just didn't want to neglect the thumb. I wanted to make sure the thumb was getting dry as well. So now I'm taking um, the gel nail polish and doing the left hand. I should have scraped off, once again, I should have scraped off some more um, gel polish, but um, I'm just using whatever that I have on the brush now. I didn't, I don't think I dipped it back into the, um, the tube because I had a more than enough on there. That color turned out really good. And thanks to the nail holder, I really love that thing. I will keep it forever. So I love it. Now I'm just placing it back in the um, LED lamp. So now I'm finished. That's what my toes look like. Oh, <laughs> the toes, they're done. Finally, and then my fingers, they're done. So I love that color. That color is a beautiful color. It's really pretty.
nice so everything is matching so I'm so happy finally after months and months and that's what they look like I love that. Ooh, that, that's a beautiful color I love that color Well, that completes the video, you guys. That's my Manny and pedicure at home. So salon pedicure at home, saving myself a lot of money. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. <laughs> All right. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.